hello and welcome to this day in my life running my Etsy shop vlog. If you're new to my channel, I'm Anna Mae and I have an Etsy shop at AMK Needlepoint on Instagram and AMK Needlepoint on Etsy. Um, it's all linked down below. My regular Instagram is Anna Mae by Design, but as I said, today is more of an Etsy errand kind of day. So I have listings I need to put live at three because you actually can't schedule things to go live on Etsy, which is kind of annoying. And then I'm also, um, I have to go to the art shop in town. I'm going to try and see if I can pick up some new brushes and pick up some paints so that I don't have to like mix colours exactly every time because there's a new canvas I'm going to be working on um, and I'm really excited for it. I just had to get these restocks out of the way. So I will show you what it all looks like to do this. Uh, in other news, I still don't have a job, but we are working on it yeah we're just gonna try and make it a really productive day friday so that we can have a nice chill weekend so i'm gonna have a lunch before i actually go into town and start um i eat lunch really early i'm one of those people i'm going in to try and find paints that might match or be closer to these so this is like my chosen color palette i chose the fibers before i picked any paints for the new canvas um it is, I can tell you here because I don't care. It's a Cliffs of Mohair. It's like a Cliffs of Mohair landscape. So I just realized the basket weave on the back of these is really nice. <laughs> There's a little peep of yellow as well for flowers. So I picked the fibers already, those, and I need to see if I can get paints that'll work with it. So I'm going to be doing that and then prepping for listings. And things won't sell immediately. It's not like, wow, I'm so popular because I'm not. But it's just for me the satisfaction of having it there and then posting all the stuff. Also, I need to take more product photos, so that's what's happening. We've had a fun development. I went down and I checked the post box as I was going to go get my lunch and I ordered new earrings for, um, like new jewelry for piercings, um, on Etsy actually, uh, from this place, Trium. I'll link the shop down below, um, because the packaging's really cute, the prices were really good and it's from Spain, so it's, um, European, but I will, maybe I'll switch these I'll give like a warning when I'm going to do it on camera later, but I'm going to put, I'll, I'll show them up closer, but this is like a little three stone, this is like a little three stone situation. And I'm going to put that up here in my upper helix. Um, and then I have a second piercing here and I have another one that I'm going to put in there, but I'm also planning on getting three new piercings as soon as I can. So, um, I just need to go up to Dublin because I want to get it done in a specific place. So that's so fun and we can switch it out later but now food so i've just made it into town um i'm actually parked on the top floor of the um it's like usually indoor parking <laughs> but i'm outdoors um so i'm going to i just this is one of the places that's actually free to park in town so um i'm going to head right to the art shop i if i film i'll film on my phone um but i probably won't film in the shop itself because it is a small shop and like i think i showed the colors already but I have something that'll match the blues, but I'm just trying to find things that might work a bit better for this. Um, and then I need to be back and all ready for like three o'clock when I can, because I need to like correct product descriptions and stuff like that before I restock. So, um, yeah. And once that goes live, I'm free as a bird, really. I can change my earrings. I have some gardening to do, so we'll do that. It was a very brief intermission. Um, I didn't film anything in town, it was super busy because I forgot it was Friday, but I got the paint that I wanted, generally. Um, I ended up with sap green, Payne's grey and raw umber, so that should do the trick. I've also, when I was just looking and I was talking to the guy, the guy who runs at our shop is super nice. Um, I also got a new brush because I always need a new brush, but the paint is super reasonably priced. But when I was looking at this and he was like, oh yeah, and I was like, I I'm painting this stuff. Cause like he wouldn't know what I was doing and he was like and I was like yeah and I was looking at the 18 count and I was like damn I paint a lot of 18 count so because it's a larger design I'm kind of thinking about starting to do some on 13 I might do some on 13 and some on 18 I mean I think it would be really really nice on 13 mesh but it logistically it's just not gonna work for me um because of like shipping and trying to figure that out um 
you know like changing my packaging size and doing all of that if I was selling wholesale I would 100% do it because I think it would look really good so maybe that's something if I ever do any wholesale products which I would I think would be really cool um, if I ever get to that point that would be really nice um, but right now we're not doing that because we're just trying to do what we're doing so gonna head home what time is it I need to edit those product descriptions and then ready oh and take new product photos I need to do that yay mission accomplished now I just have to paint them Hopefully the birds will be quiet for like two minutes but um it's a couple hours later listings went live what two hours ago over two hours ago um so that was it's just good to have those up now um and i feel like i can start working on other things there's still a bunch of stuff that needs to be restocked but it's this thing where i want to do new designs but i also need to restock old designs because i'm not painting that much because i can't get my hands on that much canvas and sorry if you can hear my dog snuffling around it's just just geriatric dog things <laughs> she's trying to let me flip this around she was trying to get up from this little ledge here she's an old gal hi sparks so um then I, I ended up actually going with my dad to pick up, we just got, this is like the new part of our house um, and we have a new kitchen and stuff so we wanted to get these counter stools and we were able to get floor models they called earlier today. So I went with him to pick those up and I actually ate some delicious nachos because it was <laughs> um, like food market there at the one of the places we were going to pick them up because we had to go to a couple different locations to get three of them and um yeah that was delicious so that's pretty much my dinner i don't have anything else officially to do etsy wise i'll probably just kind of stay busy on instagram the two other things i want to do today are gardening stuff and then earring stuff so i don't know what i'm gonna do first maybe i'll i think i'll change the earrings now I mean, I might as well, and then I'll do a bit of gardening, um, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Birds are being really loud, but that's what's going on. Um, you should look at, at AMK Needlepoint on Instagram. I'll post a picture here of the canvas that just got restocked. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really excited for new designs and stuff, but it's also stressful because I want to restock things that I know people like, but you just, I don't want to do pre-orders. It would make more sense to have people order them and then we paint them but that's just not what i want to do so we just gotta do what we can to change these piercing earring things I've gotta wash my hands i'm excited to change this one to something a bit more statementy because you can probably barely see that it's red because i just touched it my ears just get really red when i touch them but yeah i put this in so it would heal better because there's a bit of a story with me getting that piercing. I really hated the jewelry that it was pierced with, so I changed it a lot earlier than you're supposed to. Like, I'm actually not gonna admit how much earlier. And um, I had a hoop in it that kept cutting it because it was kind of spiky. So I switched to this one. It's just, I'll show you when it's out. It's from Astrid and Mew, but they're kind of overpriced to be fair. I'll take these out because I'm going to clean them and then we're going to switch it out. Sorry if I found this gross. I don't know. I think it's, it's very fun. There you go. Cute, huh? So, because it'll be in this little sauce there. So that and then the other one is just like a little drop shape. This one. You can see that. So I think I'm going to put that one just down here because I have a second piercing on this ear. But... It, um, it, it just, it's not a happy guy. This isn't really long though, but it's not a happy guy. This one, it was pierced when I was 16. Um, and it has, it always just gets irritated. It's just not a, it's not a happy guy. So I'm gonna clean these two 
and switch them. Even though I did this, like I switched this way before I was supposed to and just generally thought I had effed it up, I luckily don't have any scarring really um, on the back of my ear or anything like that. Um, I'm just gonna get this prepped because it's very much healed, but I also don't really trust it. Um, I don't even know how well you can see it. There. <laughs> there we go. So I'm gonna take this guy out. Oh yeah. The only thing that's weird is I do almost have like a dent in the cartilage behind my ear right there. I don't know what that is. My ear isn't sore by the way. It's just getting red because I keep touching it. So I really hope I can unscrew this little barbell. I really hope this doesn't end up cutting me like the other one. This bit. Oh it does. Oh that's so cute. So pretty. Okay. We love it. Okay so the back is on but it is not secure so I'll do that in a second but I'll put this one in. The post on this is way longer than I had anticipated. I thought I had ordered the shortest post but I think I was wrong and as I said this one is just so dodgy. It's like not infected but it gets really irritated like every time I put something in it so maybe this will just give it a chance to uh, stay with an earring in it because I want to have, see that's so cute, um, I'm, as I said I, earlier, I think I'm planning on getting a couple more piercings, but I want to kind of have an idea of what jewellery I'm going to keep in them before I get them done, so anyways, ta-da, new jewellery, very exciting. So now that that's over, um, I'm very happy with the jewellery obviously, um, but it just makes me really, really want those piercings now um but as i said i have a little bit of gardening to do so what i'm actually doing is this so it's a planter obviously shaped like a cross but it's a terracotta one because a lot of ones like that can be a little bit i don't want to offend anybody they, they, they're just not my taste that's what i'll say my grandmother died earlier this year and she was very you know she was very in tune with the earth I'll put it that way. Um, she was, sorry, the birds are just going crazy because the time of day it is. Um, so when we wanted to put something nice on their gravesite, because it's my grandparents, I mean, um, we wanted something really natural. So when I saw this terracotta planter, I said it to my mom. And because um, we were at the garden center yesterday. And again, sorry about the birds. <laughs> so picked this up and then got some Elysium. I'll show you in a second. Uh, very cute, tiny little flowers. And apparently my grandmother was a big fan. So we're going to put those in here and then bring it out next time we go out there. I have those and then I have these. So I don't know what this is. Namesia? Lilac. Beautiful. Look at those. Gorgeous. And then I have Brachigal? Delight Magenta. Again, gorgeous. And then we have some other like white crawler type ones. Um, I have done a lot of gardening already, maybe I'll show you that, this vlog's going to be super long because um, I, I do like to potter around in the garden so, um, and I'll show you the Elysium and how this little planter turns out because it'll be hopefully really pretty there's the Elysium, so pretty, so cute um, and should be decently hardy, so we'll see how it goes I hope this isn't too morbid, I don't know I guess I should probably also like preface this by saying if I don't seem very upset or torn up about this um, because it is like for a grave my grandfather died I think about 20 years ago my grandmother only died this year um, she was 99 years of age she she wasn't ill or anything like that so it's just it's just a nice thing to do I think um, but yeah if <laughs> it's just a nice bit of decoration really um, but just I just thought about it I was like that might be strange to some people but um yeah not strange to me at all just very normal just put some something just put something pretty out there it'll be cute it would be appreciated I think so let me get a better angle and we'll fill it with flowers I 
so I actually am not going to plant the other things because it is much colder than I thought outside. Um, but that's because it's like after six. It's just because it's so bright, it's confusing. So um, I planted that little planter, cute little cross planter. It's, I always, I never garden with gloves on and then I regret it so much. I, have, I just wash my hands outside, but I have to go upstairs and I'm gonna wash them again and again and again. I'm working on this Cliffs of Mohair canvas. It's just a sign. So it's like one of the old road signs. I feel like I should be painting the ones like the next batch but I think given that new releases and stuff or not new releases but restocks were today and I've been painting the last couple of days I'm gonna give myself some time off so I think I'm just gonna wrap up today's vlog here um hopefully I get some orders tonight because most of if not all of my customers are in like North America so they're not in this time zone um so maybe this evening I might get a couple orders but even if not I don't mind, they're all listed now. I just much prefer having a model of like stock and not painting as I go. So if you don't already, follow me on Instagram at anime by design. It's also linked down below. My Etsy shop is linked down below, as I said earlier, um, as is the place that I got up, got all this really cute jewelry. And subscribe to my channel for more, and I will see you in my next video.